Hello and welcome back to our most awesome let's play of Warhammer Total War. And we can start extorting income in these provinces because the stability should be fine. Yep, Alain Desolation and Nagash, it's not yet, but it's going up, so yay. That's a good thing. Hmm. Don't know why that was my door or somebody else's. I just heard knocking on my door. Oh, but it should be fine. It should be fine. It's always weird living in apartments sometimes. It's difficult to, especially with a headset on, because I've got this audio proving headset. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to locate the source of some external audio source. It's probably my neighbor's door across the hall. Alright, so you're done. Park your sweet ass right there. Start raiding. Let's give you the ability to move again. Alright, there we go. Start raiding. Darby are slightly pissed. Like that we've been raiding them for some time. So how much are we paying? Quite a four percent is quite harsh, but yeah. Alright, so we spend all the money that we can spend on army, so let's just, you know, fix some other stuff. We've got some there, we've got some obedience, it might always be nice, got some more money there. I think I spent most of my money already. Yeah. Yeah, we did. And you don't need to forget about the Nagash province, because I actually am always forgetting about that province. So, what do you want? We're now strength rank 2. We gotta go to big what big fat one once we are done. I don't know actually. I would, I would think that um, Britannia would be capable of running more than three fully stacked high tier units. Look at our money going down, by the way. Um, Misty Mountain. Is it seriously called Misty Mountain? All right. Um, uh, oh, there it is. What's the mountain? Something got damaged. All right. A couple more turns. Put you into uh, a lovely raiding stance. Oh, you make a lot of cash there, mate. Hello Grimgore, how are you doing? Um, could you get some thick skinned? And uh, yeah, we're gonna move you uh, a little bit further. Not too much, not too much. I just want you to be within striking range of Pillars of Grungi. So just take a look at the armies and we say, oh, no, there's a lot of stuff here. This is a full blown army, just pure defense. These are weak, so that's fine. But I think I'm gonna need to. This is a dwarven fortress you're talking about here. This is not some Yui fortress. This is dwarf. This is big, badass cannons, walls. These are these. It's their territory. You know, the more defensive they can play, the better. So yes, we are playing kind of kind in the kind kind of in their hands by. Um, yeah. We're, Oh, that's shit. Is this everywhere? Alright, so let's just null extort income for a second. How long does it take? We can just extort income, no problem, actually. Balance that out. Ah, we've got income. Everywhere. Get our shaman up and running. Power of the wall. 
That gives him access to evasion next turn. Let's select the entire army for one second. And yeah, Pillar of Grungi. We're bordering it. There we go. We are in position with him. Now we just need you in two more turns. Three more turns to become the final army needed to strike at the Darby. Or oh, just dwarves. I like Dai. It just sounds more non tolkienish and that's the reason why I think they thought of it. In all reality, you know, more like it. I don't care much about anything. Um, yeah, do we need that for something, do we? No. We could put... Ah, whatever. Hmm... Right, next turn it is. It's just next turning a little bit a lot, but you know, uh, fresh neck. Um, yeah, get your wyvern down, mate. Nice. Wyvern war boss. Always lovely. Yeah, that lovely. That's just, that's really gonna help in those damn sieges. So, the plan is going to be strike at the, at the dwarves, hard, fast, and definitively. But well, that last bit, I mean that we are going to end this war by basically exterminating the dwarves. Oh my god, is this a war? Oh, that is perfect. Not a strong one. But it is a war, and we're not going to lose the fightiness because we are, we are raiding. So, yeah, good. I just need... Can I please select this army? Yeah. All right. Um, the crown of source request we got us we got ourselves issued. So let's get a missile resistance. What do we need to do for the crown of sorcery? Blood forged armor. Raise or sack five different settlements. Oh, that was what we're doing. Kinda of sucks that you know. Eh. We'll um, sack settlements and then we'll occupy them, I guess. We got three perfect settlements here to do this, so yeah, that seems a bit fun. Am I not getting the quests for my other legendary lords? That would be silly. Why not a bit silly? There it is. Deploy Goblin Big Boss Hero in the following province. There is mountains. Alright, so... These fights also are a bit annoying, but... That is so far out of the way. It's really annoying. Anyway, there's our Goblin Big Boss, and he is gonna run, run, run right over there, and it's gonna take him forever. I'm not even joking. It, that takes a long time. As we are in raiding stance, I can actually just recruit something, but not gonna do that. Why? I think you're done. Yes. All right. So a couple more turns. Oh, we can recruit the spiders technically. So let's see. One, two, three, four turns. And as you are that, yeah, you can actually recruit a big one. Black Orc, I mean. In the five turns. We've got that going. Good. Perhaps I'll make a fourth army, use an actual goblin boss, and make it something more like a raiding army with pure goblins. Not pure goblins, because then you've got goblin spearmen, which are total shite. More of a lighter army. You spiders with them. Some fanatics here and there. I'm surprised you don't have a goblin. Um... Um, infantry. So it's the crap infantry. Because you've got fanatic goblin infantry. Um... Okay, this guy's just went around and started raiding shit. I'm fine with that. 
So yes, yeah, so that's gonna take at least 10 to 15 turns. Great. Also great. What do you want, mate? I'm strength rank one. Oh, you're not even paying me anymore? Yeah, that's not gonna work, mate. Really? You wanna peace out because it's a die. I'm kicking the living shit out of you. It doesn't work that way, mate. It doesn't work that way. It really doesn't. I'm kind of peeved that I'm raiding my own provinces here, but yeah. You know, spend some money, gain some money. Get some more money. Alright. Next turn is gonna be war declaration. Actually, not next. Turn. Depends if Azok can reach the province, because I want to strike at everything at once. Now I'm hoping that they are. What is it? Yeah, for now I would completely like that. I'm not having to worry about the vampires. Great. Do piss all out of my area though, because so I will. Kick you out if you're gonna be annoying. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I saw some building opportunities, so let's take a look. Up you. Does this give us income? I guess. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, I'll take that one. I'll take that one. Got a lot of. Positive income flowing. Still got 4k left. Yeah, I'll take that one. What's going here? In the Misty Mountains. Fine, Spite Peak is also doing great. Great. I feel like one of those motivational speakers. Ugh. Can... Oh, that's... Im that's peachy. I need to do that. Now yeah, I've seen some red. That means that we're gonna move a little bit, a little bit. There we go. Uh, put your rainy stance. Oh, that province is getting plundered as hell. Next turn, gentlemen. Next turn. Um. I just looked at my tech window and I sort of bomb not this turn but next turn. Uh I'm a bit of an asshole. I thought it was a vampire. Ow, vampiric armor. Army. Please raise. Just raid, I mean. Okay, um I must have attempted peace deal with those guys, because they don't really like the piss off the idea. I don't think you can peace with chaos. Not be possible. Thanks for my camera just being zoomed in, stuck there. All right, uh, Salmon being sacked. Took 8k with him. Man, going to bed. Open hammer. A lot of craps happening. All right. First of all, no. can I? Can we talk? Are you warrior of chaos? That's uh, where are you from? Yeah, you're warriors of chaos. All right, you're annoying. Hi. There is no negotiation with the warriors of chaos. That makes sense. Strangely enough, uh, but that means that Zufbar is gonna get an upgrade, and that means that we are still gonna declare war on some dwarven dicks. They the scum in my presence. Declare. Ah, oh, you know what? I know. <laughs> Declare war. The Empire and Bretonia. Who cares? I'm the number one faction in pure power. I, wait, you have no stuns? Strange, but alright. It. Only a giant stick a bit of damage. And we'll sack it first, and then we'll occupy next turn because we needed to raise or sack some settlements. Same here, nothing took any damage. 
for a second. And we've got a gleaming pendant, bullies and big bosses and a lot of stuff available to us, which is always very nice. Um, let's get our uh, missile infantry maxed out. And you guys can go there. A bit peeved that I cannot move you, but it must be must be a reason for that. Um, Azork, you're a level up. Very good. Very well done. Let's get you up there. You're a level four. Let's get you a brain burster. All right, next turn. And now we've got the plus ten armor on all our melee infantry, or all our infantry actually. So that it means all of it. So I, I just believe we're thirty. That means we've got forty. That means we've got a quarter more armor. So the vampires are pissing uh, at the uh, the soup of uh, chaos. It's always lovely. Yeah, mate, it's not going to happen. You're not. You're no threat. So, and I have no incredible need for your money. So what the hell would I waste any time making peace? Which is not the old way to do. Azog managed to get a war growing. Jesus, man. Uh, let's see. Well, Night Goblin Fanatics. Got more weapon strength. Armor for cavalry. We don't have any cavalry, so... Green skin chariots, green skin chariots, skin green skin chariots, orc units, weapon strength. Mm. Yeah, well, that would make most sense. Alright, Chaos is doing rather well, even though we got the event that they were not doing that well. I would say that they were doing rather well. Chaos is present there, so... Alright, um... Your war can also go... There. Your war can go... There. And... Let's... Occupy. Loot and Occupy. There we go. Loot and Occupado. Got a lot of fucking stuff out of this. And this guy cannot move. Oh, we're recruiting still. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's no problem, actually. That's literally no problem. Evasion. Always lovely. Mount Squigorn and, uh, and the like. Build some of these uh, nice buildings. I like the buildings. Uh, we're gonna not extort income in this. We're gonna rebel probably within. The amount of damage I'm doing to this province, we're probably gonna rebel within one or two extra turns. So the dwarves managed to p poop out an entire army. How did they do that? Please just raid it and don't raise it. Ah, assholes. Okay, so they're going for the next one. And they kind of have a lot harder time there because that one has actually got defenses in it. Okay, that's annoying. We're going to peace out. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to send an army down there just to deal with that dipshit. Look, if I know he's got shit in my territory, I'm out. Like I said, as long as he's not annoying. Extra teeth. Show any helmet. Leadership. It's occasionally a problem. Of the orcs leadership. Can I talk to you through here? No, that's a bit annoying. Greetings. We may not be the empire. Peace treaty. Payments. I'll offer him a payment. Oh, you're not because you now. Oh Christ. We should have accepted the peace treaty, I guess. Anyway, um... Okay, that's not an orcish army, that is my army. Um... That does, however, mean that I need to actually send one of these armies back because of this dipshit. He will suffer attrition. 
Let's hope we cannot do much. I do, however, have um, more than enough uh, firepower with me. I've got two walls. That's it. I'm just going to continue to search. I was expecting more. I feel cheated. I do. I really do. I feel cheated. I feel like there should be more of a Dwarven presence in the Dwarven capital. And I think that three Orcish armies should not be capable of this easy. Ah, oh, I can't even select the armies. Let's see, does Azok join in? Just that's the more important thing. Uh, yes, Azhat joins in. Um, ah, okay, I'm a bit... Okay, so I kind of sold because I have these guys and they kind of just artillery and I could use them to break open the gate and all that kind of stuff. Now, the thing is... One, two, three, three turns. I want to fight this, to be honest. Because it's, 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 it's the big fight. It's the big fight against the Dwarven capital. We should just fight this. And yes, I'll take three turns wasting time so I can fight it properly. Um, yeah, I'm not... I, ugh, I hope that building got finished there. Uh, Chaos, you're such a dick. Um, I'm gonna quick save. Heroic victory. Oh, we eat them. Uh, that's, I think, the end of that army. That means it can no longer do anything. It's suffering attrition. Because it has no home base. It's an enemy territory. Or a neutral territory. Okay, uh, rate the following region to moot. Where is that? Yeah, I'm not gonna. Uh, still, I need to get rid of this guy. I want to make sure that he can, he is not a threat. How tiny it might have been. Okay, uh, two more turns. So next video is when I guess the uh, the uh, battle is going to happen. Which would, would have been sooner, but uh, hmm. it is what it is. So he's got a. St oh, Jesus, man. Chaos. You are annoying, aren't you? What did we get? Wait, what? This is just four heroes, and you're gonna say that this is stronger than. Oh, man. So he's got a. F he got himself a town, I guess? Can he even occupy it? Four heroes is stronger. No, he can just raise it. He can just be a dick with the army. Oh, God. Four heroes are apparently stronger than the entire army. Well, well good that I've been sending back an army because apparently I need to... Okay, I need to deploy him. Oopa. Uh... It. Mm. Anyhow, there's somewhere a level up here near one of these armies. Then somebody who's level up, I believe it's Azak. Azak's army, at least. Yeah, there he is. The culprit, Fist of Gorg. Um, let me check real quick. No, one more turn. Okay, that was right. All right. Okay, so I'm not going to plunder the crown of sorcery. The Goblin Big Boss has been deployed, so that is that. I should really recruit another army, shouldn't I? I think I should. We've got 6k on positive income left. I mean, it's got to grow towards more. 
You gotta try Dragon All Might, aren't you? Luckily he's suffering attrition, so he's only getting weaker, weaker and weaker and weaker. Wild Bandit imminent. Have four units of missile info for this army. Move any character to the following. That's successful, and there's his quest battle. So basically, if Azok has an army, he's good. All right. Um, let's just reset that real quick. Let's give you a big back move. Okay, first things first. Oh, you guys are all so close to death. That's not even funny anymore. What is there tunnels under the, the ground here? Okay, so let's increase that. All right, so um, next video we're gonna kick off with this fight. I'm actually gonna start recruiting a new army because why the hell not? And we're gonna take a goblin because I said I would. This guy's maimed arm, blind. Uh, we'll check next turn. These are all shit. Anyway, uh, with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Uh, have a very good day. Bye bye.